let's go over our our trade setups. Now remember tonight at um, 4.30, you can stay logged in. I do have a conference call. We're going to record it for you guys and gals. I am going to go over buyers versus sellers, how we can dictate where support and resistance is, and then also how we can enter with order imbalances using market delta. So we'll go over that tonight at 4.30. Uh, we will record if you guys need to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trend chart this morning. I want to go ahead and move this over. We use a trend chart. Here's the whole trading session so far since midnight. Um, so the last eight hours, almost eight and a half hours, we've had two big sell retracements so far. And then we had a momentum retracement that just happened after eight o'clock here just about 10 minutes ago. How do we want to look at this chart? The, the beautiful thing about using this Rinko bar is that I have a trend filter built into these candlesticks. This is not your standard candlestick that looks just at the open high and low close. This candlestick has a trend filter built into it. So if it closes red, there's more distribution than accumulation. If it closes green, there's more accumulation versus distribution, meaning there's more buy buyers versus sellers if it's green. There's more sellers versus buyer if it's red. If you see just a candle that looks just like a line like this, a big vertical line on any of these time frames, this is what's called, we'll call it supply and demand or equal. That means you have a pause in the market for a continuation trade. And I'm going to show you tonight how and this morning how we want to do that with market delta. So we see what, what you want to do then is if you are below all three moving averages, we use moving averages only for trend direction, not support or resistance. But if you are below all three moving averages, you're in the hardest downtrend you could possibly be in. So what you want to do, you can see crew keeps moving lower. You do not want to take any longs in this market. This is how traders lose ticks over and over on a daily basis. And like a lot of traders know, I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show and a majority of traders that I've seen, there was nearly 6,000 traders there that I talked to are counter trend traders. They have systems that counter trend trade the market and that's not productive. You do not want to try to counter trend trade the market. You want to buy and sell retracements with overall trend direction. So getting the trend right is 50% of the battle and we need to understand that. We get on the right side of the market and then we can use our other tools, our Fibonacci tools and our market delta and our market profile to assist us and getting in the market with small stops. But you got to get the trend right first. I mean, that's the first thing you look at. I don't care about these Fibonacci arrows over here that produce these nice trades. We have three, actually four back-to-back -back winners right here on the 5, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. It doesn't matter if you don't get the trend right. If you try to take these Fibonacci arrows against trend, you're going to get beat up and stopped out. So let's get the trend right first. And how we want to get the trend right, we want to make sure that we look at this trend chart. If you're below all three moving averages, meaning your candle, the body of the candle, not the high and low of the wick, that's for amateur traders, I'm looking at the body of the candle, the open versus close. That's the accumulation distribution on a candle, and that's where the trend filter is built into. So we want to see the body of the candle keep closing below this small MA. As long as it's closing below, we're going to take these Fibonacci arrows, and we're going to take market delta short, and that's how we want to play the market. So it's been a quite relatively easy market this morning to trade because it's just been selling retracements. You, three out of five days, you typically get markets like this where it's just trending and you just sell Fibonacci retracements, and we'll go over that in a second. The best way to do it, we have two types of setups then. We have a retracement setup and we have a momentum setup. And that's only two types of retracements you need to see. And ever since 1985, these retracements with market profiles have been working quite well. Very, very accurate. So you have a retracement setup. This is catching the wrongly positioned traders, or they, we call them counter trend traders. We want to catch the wrongly positioned counter trend traders and be on the opposite side. If we know that 85, 90% according to Stocks and Commodities Magazine are, are, are losers in these futures markets, where's the money go? Where's the profits go? It goes to the professional traders. So what we got to do, we know that the majority of traders are counter trend traders. We want to go opposite of what they're doing. So we want to catch the wrongly position or counter trend traders on a retracement setup. The best way to do that is if your trend filter is down, which it is today. And what we want to do if the trend filter is down, we want to look for an opposite color candle to come in to show us that wrongly positioned traders are getting along the market against trend. 
So when this candle fires off and closes, that tells us to look for a sell retracement right here, right on the next retracement up. When, this, when these candles fired right here on the green candles over here also, that's more buyers and sellers against trend. That's counter trend traders. We want to try to sell this retracement right there. So we got the trend right. So that's a retracement trade. We got the trend right. So we got the trend right. Then how do we enter the trade then with the small stop? What I, there, I have two Fibonacci charts right next to me. And these Fibonacci charts will let me know when to enter to the exact bar. And they're going to let me know when the market's in a sweet spot on a retracement because we want to do retracements with trend. The chart right next to me is for retracement trading or what I call, I'll put an E in here, retracement trading on this setup, retracement trade setup. So we want to look at the next chart next to me. These templates are already pre-made for all your ninja traders on all markets. Same setup. So let me just point this down. Let's look at this setup right here. I'll put this a little bit bigger so you can see Market Delta down there for you guys trading. So I've had one, two, three, four for four. It's called the swing high this morning since midnight. So since midnight this morning, the system has been four for four. This is not a lagging indicator. These arrows don't fire off five, six, seven bars later. They do not erase. I, I made sure that this system does not erase arrows. You'll see all winners and all losers on this. So when you back test on any market, you'll see all winners are all losers immediately. So what we want to do is, is on a retracement trade, we want to look for, um, let's look at uh, 854 right here on this green bar that caught the counter trend traders coming in. Right when you see that green bar formed, I want to look over here at this chart called my 5 Simrinko. This is a 9 Simrinko or a trend chart. It's a large time frame with a trend chart built into it. I mean trend filter. If you look next, next to it, I want to now break it down to a smaller time frame. This is actually a 5 sim, almost half of the 9 sim. This tells me that I'm looking for a retracement to catch these wrongly positioned traders. Do we have red, red fit asymmetry dots that form as the market's moving? The cool thing about these symmetry dots, they create natural support and resistance. But more importantly, I want to see them hold the market on a retracement because it's going to give me a great Fibonacci arrow to fire in. So at this trade that I fired off here before 5 o'clock, you can see I came up to my symmetry dots, and I came within a couple ticks of my symmetry, two, three ticks. I don't want to close above them, per se, with a body of the candle. I just want to stay below my red, because red meaning sell. I've been below all my symmetry dots all this morning, my red symmetry dots. That tells me the market symmetry is down. So I want to take the first Fibonacci arrow that comes in or negative market delta when I get within a couple ticks of symmetry. So you can see if I blow this up and I come over to that trade setup, what we have is a Fibonacci arrow that fired right when this bar closes. When that bar closed, your live fill is going to be the low of that bar. Low that bar, so there's your live fill. Your stop loss would be two ticks above the swing high, and that's going to be your hard stop, always two ticks above that swing high. So there's your entry, and there's your stop. Your average stop using a... Uh, the market delta, which I'll show you how to enter on that trade, is going to be an average of 11 tick stop because we use a market delta just below this to enter the trades. Because right below us when those Fibonacci arrows fire, what I want to see is, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll come back to this, what I want to see is I want to see negative market delta right at that swing, right when that Fibonacci arrow fires. So I want to see negative market delta fire right at that level. We want to see it come up, hit it, Negative market delta. Now look how beautiful this is. I had negative market delta that fired, but look at my indecision on my supply and demand bar. My supply and demand bar is showing what? It's showing that we are what? We are neutral. So the sellers are off. I got negative market delta, and then the market just starts crashing down. What this market delta does, these red uh, numbers down here, that is more sellers than buyers in the market. It looks between the bid and the ask. So I got a cool little system here then because what I've got now, these three charts really are a match. Uh, they really work well together. I got the trend figured out because I'm down. I'm, I'm in a downtrend. I figured out where the counter trend traders are coming in because I want to go against them when the opposite color bar comes in. So then that tells me to start watching my next chart next to me. This chart next to me tells me what? It tells me where the, the symmetry dots are if the market is still in a Sim, symmetry downtrend, meaning do we, are we still setting lower highs on the way down? That's what those sim dots look for. Are we setting lower highs? Yes, we are. The market's weak. 
Now, not to mention, I got a Fibonacci arrow that tells me I'm in a sweet spot in the market. Meaning what the Fibonacci arrow, the reason they fire and they fired at these highs is because that's a sweet spot in the market to go short. So let's look at the next one. The next one comes up here at, uh, at the 6 o'clock level. And 6 o'clock, notice over here, that's this level right here. Look how it comes with a couple ticks of symmetry. It breaks the symmetry shots by a little bit. It does not close above them. But look what we have. We have the Fibonacci arrow that fires. And then we look for market delta for confirmation. Now we want market delta to confirm that that is going to be a rollover right there. So we want to see just after 7 o'clock this morning if we have negative market delta. So negative market delta, we want to see it come up. We get negative market delta, and the market starts rolling over. There's more sellers and buyers at that Fibonacci arrow. Fibonacci arrow comes up. The, 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 the sellers are in the market. The stop loss is two ticks above the swing high, and the market rolls over again. So that is our, uh, in summation, how we do our retracement trade. Our retracement trade is very simply, we let the trend chart set it up, and then we let our Fibonacci arrows fire us in the market. That's called a retracement trade. Now, now it's, it's, it's 4.30. It's 4.30, Gerald. I made it 4.30. I sent it out. It's 4.30, not 5. But we can do a 5 if you want. But anyway, hold on. Let, let, let me finish this video. Um, so we've got the um, – hey, Leo. So what we want to do then, that's a retracement trade. Retracement trade is trying to catch the counter trend traders using our next chart next to us, the Fibonacci arrows. It's very accurate this morning. Some days it's like this where it's just one, two, three. We're four for four this morning. It's not lagging. These do not erase. It's black and white. You know, either you have a winner or loser on this thing. You had four winners in a row this morning so far. Trend charts called two back-to-back -back big moves this morning. So let's move on now. The second trade setup, what if I never get a green reversal candle with my trend filter built in on my trend chart? What It happens. The market's too weak. What happens if the market's too weak? That's okay. I have what's called a momentum setup. Now, we know that on a momentum setup, you want to try and catch what? You want to try to catch a fast-moving market to the downside or continuation trades. These are continuation trades or what's called shallow retracements. These retracements won't be as deep. So now I've got to be smarter than my average opponent. I can't use a longer time frame to catch these Fibonacci arrows. What I want to do now is look at my chart next to me. Now, I do not use this chart at all until I get a momentum set up. And right here is going to be a momentum setup. This chart now, let me get this retracement chart out of the way. We don't use a retracement chart now. We use the momentum chart now. Now we use this chart because now, let's see, this is, this, we just had a Fibonacci arrow fire right here. Look at the difference here. This is a momentum setup. These two were retracement setups. That's retracement setups. This is what's called a momentum setup. A momentum setup is different. It's all red bars. So if I get a momentum setup, it's going to look like this. What happens when the candles are all red? That means my trend filter is saying there's more distribution than accumulation. We got sellers hitting, hitting the market, hitting the market, hitting the market, overtaking the buyers, overtaking the buyers. We just had one on gold and crude here. I mean gold, a, a retracement and a momentum. I'll go over that in a second. But look, this is momentum. So the momentum is this. I don't look at the retracement chart now. I look at the next chart next to it, which is a three Simrico, which is a little smaller time frame, momentum. So now if I look at the momentum setup, I want to try to catch the rolling position traders on the momentum setup, and that's these arrows. So we had a trade at 746 this morning and at 805. Now what do I keep telling you traders? If you have an indecision bar or a supply, demand, or equal, that means the sellers are off. Look at my vertical bar. It's not red. It's not green. With the Fibonacci arrow, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. It's two for two this morning since 745. It is just on the system's on fire this morning. So if you look, we are Fibonacci arrow, Fibonacci arrow there. Why? Look at the red bars over here. So these are the two areas where the market fired two Fibonacci arrows, right? On a retracement. So that's a great place to get short. Where's your stop? Your stop's going to be small. We want to make sure that the, the market delta 
is doing what? The market delta is catching negative market delta. Look how it matches up. There's your negative market delta at the Fibonacci arrow fires. They fired at the same time. There's negative market delta. And here at 809, here's negative market delta. Look how negative market delta, the relationship between supply and demand, the bid and the ask, it confirmed that these Fib arrows, there's more sellers than buyers. Sell the retracement. Sell the retracement right there. Stop loss, same thing. Two ticks above the swing high. There we go. So that's the difference between a momentum setup and a retracement setup. Retracement setups are very simply you're trying to catch a deep retracement when an opposite color bar comes against trend. A momentum setup is where my trend filter is just all red. If it's all red, we trade off this chart, not the five sim chart. We trade off the momentum chart. So this is called a retracement chart on the Fibonacci arrows. And this Fib chart is called a re on a momentum chart. So if you look, the retracement chart, one, two, three, four opportunities there since midnight. And then right here, it's recently, we've had one, two, and now a third one coming in right here this morning. So that's how you trade a momentum setup when they're all red because of my trend filter. All right. Now what we have extra, which everybody knows, I'm a big fan of support and resistance. Support and resistance dictates the market order flow. I have what's called market profile, and it's different than the 30-minute market profile. I have what's called a more of an institutional market profile. If you look at these big red lines, blue lines, and green lines, they act as natural support and resistance as the market moves. I could just use market profile, market delta by itself, without the trend chart, without Fibonacci support and resistance, and trade the markets. Why? It creates natural support and resistance. Old support becomes new resistance. Old resistance becomes new support. So if you look at this last trade set that happened when the Fibonacci arrows fired, it gave me what? A stacked or confluence area because that's my control point. The blue line, it takes all the volume coming from all hedge funds, prop firms, retail traders, amateur traders, professional traders, banks, and it puts a big blue line on our chart. That's the most volume that's traded in the market. The red line and the green line, high value and low values derived from that blue line. So what I want to see is if the trend is down, which it is, I want to see retracements to these lines for a retest. If you look right here, we broke down on the last momentum setup, and we had a test of the low value. It broke, it retested, because that was old support. Old support becomes new resistance. Old resistance becomes new support. It found support this morning, bounced to the control, came down, broke, retested LVA, came back up, retested LVA, two Fibonacci arrows fired with two opportunities. Don't make it any more difficult than that. Now, if you look what's rolling over here on live trading right now, we have, look at the momentum setup. Momentum setup, another one's working. Why? I had a Fibonacci arrow that fired right here at the swing, and then we have negative market delta again to confirm to pop in the entry. There we go. All right? So we use, you can use the, the market profile now to take your game to another level. Now what we're doing with market profile said, hey, I got natural support and resistance, right? I got natural support and resistance. Yeah, hold on, Gerald. I got natural support and resistance. So now my, my trend's the right way. Look at my Fibonacci arrows. They're gorgeous. One, two, three, four in a row on our retracement chart since midnight. One, two, three, just since 7.30 this morning is cranking on the momentum setup. Now, if you don't think this works on all markets, Gerald, go over to gold real quick. Look at gold. Switch over to gold real quick, bud. You don't think this works on markets? It works on all markets. I don't care if you trade futures. I don't care if you trade stocks, ETFs. I don't care if whatever you trade. We have a lot of traders that don't even trade gold and crude, that don't even log in a room, that trade all these other markets with our templates because it's, it's plug and play. If I take a look at gold real quick, look at my market. Let's go left to right analysis. Look at my market profile. Look at my high value area, my red high value. Caught the swing high, didn't it? Natural resistance. All right? Look at my trend chart. More importantly, look at this. Look at my trend chart. Did it catch the wrongly positioned traders? Are we in a downtrend? Yes. Did it catch the wrongly positioned traders? There's the green bars. There's the green bars. There's my retracement. I want to try to catch that retracement high. Did we have a retracement sell on my chart right next to it, my retracement chart with the Fib arrows? Yes. Look at the two Fib arrows that fired right at my symmetry dots, right exactly on them for an M top. 
So my retracement trade worked out perfect, right? How about over here on my momentum setup? We had a momentum setup. Did I have it on the retracement up to my smaller MA since they're all red bars? Yes, I did. So you can see it's the same exact look as crude. You just confirmed down here with market delta. Did it confirm down here with market delta? Market delta confirmed. Did I have my beautiful, gorgeous supply demand bar right at the high? Yes, I did. Did I have negative market delta? Yes, negative 168. Anything over 50 on gold is a huge order imbalance between the bid and the ask. Look at that. Not only did it catch the high because of the market profile, it caught the high because the trend chart showed it. It caught the high because my Fibonacci arrow fired. And then lastly, we look at market delta to show there's an order imbalance to bring it lower. Simple as that. Works on all markets.